Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney and today I am doing the 1954 Christmas movie classic, White Christmas. I love this movie. I hope you will get tons of ideas and inspiration from today's DIYs. So let's get into it. For this DIY, I found several of these clapboards at Dollar Tree and I was so excited to find these because I felt like you could make one of these for any Christmas movie that you wanted to, but I just love that this is an older Christmas movie and I felt that the clapboard kind of really brought this DIY together. I used my Cricut to go ahead and cut out the information that I wanted to put on here. I did look up the director's name just to make sure I had it right as long, along with the date to make sure that was accurate. Now, again, if you do not have a Cricut, no worries. You you could pick up some chalk. Dollar Tree has colored chalk. It would be fun to fill this in with red and green chalk. You could use puff paint. You could use stickers, lots of options. You could just use some hot glue and sprinkle glitter on it if you wanted to make it more permanent. Tons of options to fill this out. Once I got all of my Cricut stickers stuck down, the last thing I wanted to do just to dress this up a little bit was just to add some greenery to the corner of it and that's it. Keeping it super simple, but I love how it turned out. For this DIY, we're gonna be using two of these graphics from this printable that I made for you. Everything I can will be linked down below in the description box. You're also gonna need to one of these little shaker frames from Dollar Tree. This one has got the purple sequins in there. And honestly, every time I think of this, I just feel like it's Barney's guts shaking back and forth. If you don't know who Barney is, well, consider yourself lucky. All I did here was go ahead and break this down. That was my first step, get rid of those purple sequins. And then the next step was to get rid of the words on the glass. Now you guys know my preferred method is just to use my little scraper tool, which is nothing fancy. It's just a sculpting tool. Again, I will link down everything I can down below in the description box for you. That's just my preferred method, but there are tons of ways you can get these words off. And I scraped the words off the glass. From there, it was just a simple snip of the scissors around my image of the four actors from the movie. I used a glue stick to attach that to the back of my picture. Before I put this back together, I grabbed some of the fake snow from Dollar Tree and went ahead and sprinkled it into my frame. Then I took the back and went ahead and snapped it back in. Now, I will say at first I was a little annoyed because several pieces of the snow was kind of sticking randomly in places. But then the more I looked at it, I thought, hey, it actually looks like it's snowing. So I was pleasantly surprised and happy with how that turned out. Then taking that free printable, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the words that say, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And I went back and forth with what I wanted to do with this. Originally, my plan was to go ahead and use those words and put them underneath the glass and then use a Sharpie marker and trace these words directly onto the glass. You certainly could do that. But I decided I really just liked the glass not having anything on it so that you could really see the snow and the actors. So I just took my scissors and trimmed around this and then attached it to a little cardboard tag that I bought a huge pack of from Amazon. And I also ended up gluing that down just with like, a, not a glue sheet, with a, um, glue stick, thank you, that's the word I'm looking for, directly to the tag. And then I added a little styrofoam snowflake from Dollar Tree. And the last step was just to hot glue this to the bottom left corner. And there you go, you've got a really original piece from the movie. For 
this next DIY, I grabbed a tray from Dollar Tree. It was the $3 from the Dollar Plus section, not this, the large one at $5. I created a design that represents the movie. So the place that they go to perform is called the Columbia Inn and it's run by General, General Waverly. It's in Pine Tree, Vermont. There was a sign in the movie that said Vermont, the winter playground of America. So I just tied all of that in to create a design that would represent that. I thought this was really fun to be able to put this decal that I made on my Cricut on a tray because it's kind of like a breakfast tray. But if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. If you can find that $3 tray, this, I made it into a printable. You can print it out on some cardstock or even paper and it will be sized to be able to fit the bottom of the tray. You can Mod Podge it on there just the same and still get the same great look. But this was a simple DIY. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put it on my guest bed for the Christmas time. And again, I just, I'm super happy with how this turned out. If you've seen the movie, then you probably know why I have this bag of blue feathers, and that is to represent the Haynes sisters. They sing a song at the club with blue dresses on, and they have the blue feather fans, and they sing the song Sisters. I'm going to give you some ideas if you actually have a real life sister. If you, hey, if you have a real life sister, um, I'll give you some ideas of how you could personalize this and maybe make it into a gift. I have a younger brother, so it doesn't really apply to me, but I'll give you some ideas anyway. So to do this, I simply grabbed the feathers and just started arranging them to try to make them look like a fan. Once I picked through all the feathers and they were all over my table, it looked like I had fought a peacock, but I found feathers that were about the same length. I didn't want to cut too many of them. I just used hot glue to go ahead and glue those together. I did end up making two of these because my original idea was to do something a little different. That's why you're going to see two in a second. But in the end, I only used one of them. To finish these off, I wanted to add a little something to make them, I guess, kind of dressy. So I grabbed all the beads I had and one of the beads I had were these little pearl circles that I got from Hobby Lobby in the jewelry section. And I went ahead and hot glued one of those to the base of the feather fans. And then I also had some of the little, um, I'd call, they're not beads from Dollar Tree. They're like coiled. They're, they look like beads, but if you actually pick them up, they're coiled and you can kind of open them up. I hope you know what I'm talking about, but they have all different colors and that's what is in that little divider right there that you kind of see on the right of the screen. I just hot glued one of the gold ones into each of the center of the pearl circles. I grabbed one of these wooden canvases that came in a pack from Walmart and I also grabbed my deco art paint in the color baby blue. I painted the inside of my frame with some of the blue paint and then I also just left the frame around the edge a natural color. Once the inside of my frame was dry, I did apply my decal, which I made one that said sisters. There were never such devoted sisters, but if you don't have a Cricut, I made you a printable. You can resize it to what you need and go ahead and use that free printable. You could turn this into a personalized gift if you actually have a sister by adding the sister's names at the bottom. You could make this into an ornament if you wanted to. Maybe use two of the feather uh, boa fan things if you wanted to attach two. I'm only gonna attach one to this. You could put a hanger on it. So there's certain, lots of ways you could personalize this and actually give it as a gift to your devoted sister. And on one of the printables, I had the sheet music to White Christmas, so you know I love working with sheet music. So I'm going to be making an ornament using these wooden ornaments that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby. First step here is just to go ahead and take the ornament and trace around it on the sheet music. Once I did that, I cut it out and just applied it with a glue stick directly to my ornament.
Grabbing my hot glue gun, I took my ornament and did small sections of hot glue along the edge of the ornament because this was a thick ornament. And then I dipped that ornament into the bag of fake snow from Dollar Tree so that all along the edge of my ornament, I had a nice coating of fake snow. To finish off this ornament, I had a little pick that was left over from one of the Dollar Tree things and I had put the red and white twine as you can see right now. I didn't end up liking that in the end so I do take that out but I wanted to add a little greenery so I hot glued that down onto the top of the ornament along with retying that little red and black checked bow and hot glued that down. And then I just took a piece of twine and did that for the hanger of the ornament and that's it. I just kept it super simple for this white Christmas ornament DIY. I grabbed a wooden house as well as a pack of these let it snow words from Dollar Tree for this next DIY. First thing I needed to do was go ahead and detach the let it from the snow so I used my hobby knife to go ahead and get those detached. Now that I'm finished with my wood surgery, I grabbed the house again and took some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and painted the entire house red. While the house is drying, I took some white paint and painted the word snow with the little snowflake with the white paint. Grabbing a piece of red plaid fabric that I had from Hobby Lobby, I cut it into a rectangle so that it would fit inside of the house and nicely fit the word snow on top of it. And I started by fraying the edges simply by going around each edge of this rectangle and pulling a couple pieces of thread from the fabric. Once the fabric was all frayed, I took my hot glue gun and put some glue in each of the corners of the piece of fabric and hot glued that directly into my house. And then taking the word snow, which represents when they're on the train and they sing the song snow, I hot glued that directly on top of my fabric rectangle. To finish off this little red house, I took some of the mini white bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree and hot glued two of them into the corners on the bottom of the house. Then taking some of the faux snow from Dollar Tree, I used my hot glue and would just spray, or I don't know, squirt some out, sprinkle a little of the snow on top and just continue to do that until I got some snow on the bottom. And then I also did that on the roof line of the red house.
And with that, this Christmas Movie Monday wraps up this year's Movie Mondays that I did. Now, there were only four Mondays this year in October, but the good news is there are five Mondays next year. Let me know down below which of the Christmas Movie Mondays that I did this year was your overall favorite. Was it Rudolph? Was it Charlie Brown Christmas? Was it the Santa Claus? Or was it today's White Christmas? Also, if you comment down below and let me know if I were able to pull off one more Christmas movie DIY video, what would you hope it would be? I will see what I can do and see if I could squeeze one more in, a bonus one for you guys in the month of November. So let me know down below, what would you like it to be? Thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one.